inspired by true events. Forbidden memories. How did it end up like this? 24 and I'm already in therapy. Where did I go wrong? My life is so fucked up. Maybe it should all just end. Yeah, this is me. Pretty pathetic, right? This was me a year ago. 24 year old virgin on the border of depression. Okay. In front of me sits one of the hottest therapists and instead of trying to bang her, I'm just thinking about how sad my life is. What a fucking disgrace. Little did I know this woman actually set up a chain reaction of events which completely changed my life. Turned my life upside down in a good way. In a great way. An awesome way. Let me tell and show you all about it. The record, yes, I totally bang this chick, but sad Charlie needs some stuff to happen to him first. So let's get started. Are you listening to me? Tell the truth. To be honest, I got lost my old thoughts for a second. I'm sorry. What were you saying? Don't worry, it happens. Anything you'd like to share? I guess. Well, I was just sad, I guess. I was thinking about how I got to this point, you know? Why don't we talk about that a bit more? This therapy. Okay, what do you want to know? What saddens you the most? What sad thing about your life is one you think about almost every day? I guess it would be that I have a lot of regrets in life. What kind of regrets? I'm making the wrong choices. Go on. You know, I'm still a virgin. I never had any luck with girls. I think about it, there have been a lot of times where I just made the wrong choice. I feel like I made a different choices, I would have gotten more lucky. So it's all about getting laid. No, part of it is, but I also want to experience love. Never had that. Why don't you tell me what happened at the Christmas party? So I started working at LDR in October. A week after I started, a girl named Kate started. I have to help new coworkers with their IT setup and help them if they have any problems. She was pretty. Really pretty. She had a lot of problems, so she visited my desk a lot. I thought she was into me, so at the Christmas party, I danced with her a lot. And at the end of the night, I was... What are they doing in the background? Are they like, choking each other out or something? Hmm. At the end of the night, I was saying goodbye to her. It's out of the bar we were partying at. And she gets picked up by her boyfriend. I didn't know she had a boyfriend and felt like such a fool. Well, that happens to a lot of people. Not the only one this has happened to. I know that, but it's not what has been bothering me. The entire evening, a different woman, Marie, was trying to dance with me. I danced with her, and it was fun. I even got a hard on because her leg was in between my leg a lot during our dance. A bit older, the senior position in our company, and I know that she has a husband and kids. I didn't even think about it, but when I was grabbing my coat to go outdoor, go outside, I guess, to say goodbye to Kate, he stopped me and told me it was unfortunate that I was already leaving. I mean, she clearly wanted me. She had drunk a lot, maybe that's why. I don't know what those women in the background are doing, but they are being odd. <laughs> But at that moment, I didn't realize she wanted me. For once, I've been hating myself and not realizing it. I totally lost my virginity that night.
Nothing you can change about the past. And I say you think you made the wrong choice, but who knows? Maybe if you went after Marie that night, you wouldn't have gotten lucky. You would be sitting here right now, saying you could have slept with Kate that evening, because she would dance with you so much. Never ending cycle. Yes, let it go. She's right. Yes, you're right. Listen to our session here. Or please know that it will always be better if you share these type of problems with someone. Do you have someone to talk to? Someone you trust? I don't know. Well, I'll see you next week. Let's talk more about this then. Okay, hi, welcome to this game. Where you start giving me some time to explain things. The game alternates between story scenes as you just witness and free roams. Free roams, you are in charge of what happens next. So events are mandatory as they are an integral part of the story. Some events, however, are skippable. This also means that if you don't pay enough attention and free roam, you might miss out on things. I'm very detail oriented, so I doubt I'll miss anything. We're about to start your first roam. They're collectible, you can find mainly in free roams, however, in some story scenes, they are also present. So always pay attention. Here, for example, there's a basketball. Doesn't that seem like out of place? After this mini tutorial is over, we try to click on it and see what happens. The game was made with a perfect path in mind. This means that having a relationship with one character will not affect the relationship with the other characters. Okay, if you do not choose correctly, you may miss out on opportunities. Have fun. It's kind of basketball. Awesome. What's well, Pelican? Is that not out of place? Okay. Don't stoop now. You should go home. Oh. That highlights when you touch it or hover over it. Be your own kind of amazing. Okay. Nice uh, BMW outside. Let's see. Gambling games. Photos. Chapter 1. Messages. After right now, we know Tess. Um. City. Home. We have $15. awesome um also if y'all want to play this game of course everything will be in the description below i'm just kind of showing y'all the game a little bit i might play this more so on my own but i don't know we'll see Okay, I don't know who the hell that is and why she. Okay. She's in the rain looking to the sky like that. Deep in thought about something. Tell her, see what's happening. I guess talk to her. Excuse me, miss. Is everything alright? This is what it's come to. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, that's such a cruel joke. Yeah. Once that like doesn't define your life, life can be beautiful if you let it. When you're one of those types. Well, I mean, it's true, so. You can never understand me. Well, we'll go with the other option. It's kind of like the other option more. It's more something that I would say. Where will I even start? Okay, so we are getting progress. Oh man, do you ever rub your eye hard enough to where you just start seeing, seeing things? Because I am there. I stand alone in the rain. Is it raining? She seems really out of it. It's the lowest point in my life. The way out is so. 
I can't even do that right. I need to tell your body. I need the money so bad. You know, I did what happened to me. Do I? Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm cheating a little bit, I guess, but whatever. It didn't order I sat. What? Throw it up with her. Okay. Never thought. I want you to see me now. The things I have to do because of you. And now, how will I get, get it before Sunday? Will I have to? Twenty-four, her birthday January twenty-third. We all going who because of her mistakes her parents made got mixed up with bad people early in life. The way for her to repay the debts her father made for her was to join a brothel and earn money as a prostitute. Currently Agnes doesn't have much spare time, but if she did, she would be out in nature or be indoors playing video games or board games. Tess is 31, going to guess. Tess is my psychiatrist. I only received sorry to see her. My doctor thought it was a good idea to start going as I was having a lot of physical complaints related to stress. Tess has a lot of people knowledge and can easily spot when you are telling the truth or not. Tess is single and lives with her two cats in an apartment at the end of town. Spare time she enjoys dinner parties. Okay. Let's go over to Rose's house. Hmm. Very different kind of aesthetics and looks. Okay, we have Rose now. Rose is 24 also, October 27th, so she is a Scorpio. Rose and I have been friends since kindergarten. For growing up, we were neighbors and our parents were friends, so we saw each other all the time. We went to play online video games together. When I went to college, she started online coding classes. When we were in high school, the boys would often say that she had a boob job at 12 because her breasts suddenly became very large. But also very round and firm, almost looking fake. I never really noticed it until recently. Okay. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. How about you? Fine, just got home from my first therapy session. How was it? I don't know. Don't remember how I went. Mm, what did really happen? Or what really happened? I remember matching. Okay. 
That's insane to say. So, yes, we talked quite a while about how I feel and what happened to me in the past and stuff. And do you think it will help? I don't know. She told me I should talk to someone about this other than her. She didn't even talk to me about anything. I tell her all some stuff is quite embarrassing. And again, she's been my best friend for so long. She must know most of it, really. I don't know. Do you have the time now? Sure. I'd love to know your darkest secrets. I promise you won't laugh. Some stuff is quite embarrassing. Can't promise anything. You know me. Come on. Bye. Yeah. I'll start looking at Rolex like now. She's been your best friend since kindergarten. Oh, that was intense. I know, right? Pure version, you believe you keep making the wrong choice leading to not letting the girl. Oh, we did explain. That's what the dots are for. Okay. Pretty much. Interesting. It's time for some fun. Want to play some con? Love to, but it's hard to play and I have to work in the morning. I don't have money to get the new season pass. Right, no problem. We'll play later. Me money. I made a ton of some crypto apps. What are they? They're a harmless game you play, but in reality, behind the scenes, you're instructing computers to find hashes using the crypto. Beat the game, you'll gain some money. If you don't win the game, you'll lose money. It'll be fine, don't worry. I saw that on your phone. Have a look. Okay, thanks. Gotta run. Bye, Rose. Bye. Hacker, you try to ask to make some money later. They don't have to say and then we'll go home. I'm about to say a good time to end here, but there's someone. Oh, hey, Nina, what are you doing here? How did you get in? Who didn't give me the spare key to your apartment? She wants to know how your first therapy session went. She couldn't come herself because she's going to another fancy date. Freedom to inclusion, this is not my sister and Sonia is not my mom or hers for that matter. Sonia is a very generous woman who volunteered to take in less, uh, not less fortunate, unfortunate, but less fortunate children. When I graduated from high school, I went to go to college when my parents couldn't afford it. I reached out to Sonia who allowed me to stay with her during my college days. She'll help me get a part-time job. When I earn plus some money my parents could spare were enough to put me through college. Okay. Although sometimes I think I wasn't enough. I wasn't enough to pay Sonya for the rest. Sonya's also the only deal in the apartment I'm currently living in. Okay. So we, you can tell her the session went fine. So it's helping. Straight away, it'll take some time, you know. Okay, I guess I'll need to come back on you and check more. Okay. You look for an excuse to visit your favorite roommate more often. No promise, I'm not. I'm going to do what's on the desk. I don't mind seeing you more often. You have to go, it's getting late. Have a good night, Charlie. You too, Nina. Okay, we'll check text message and uh hope you're not sleeping yet. Think about what you said and I think I can help you. How? You'll find out later, don't worry, it's cool. Yes, thanks. Alright, wait till you see it. I'm gonna sleep. See you tomorrow. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Rose. Then we'll check the gallery. Now we have Nina. So Nina, she is 22. Birthday December 23rd. 
Nina, the bright young girl, Sonia offered to help her get through college. Her parents couldn't afford it. I was already staying with Sonia, so that's how we met. We became friends almost instantly. I gradually moved out of Sonia's house to my own apartment while Nina is currently still going to college and still lives with Sonia. In spare time, Nina loves to go shopping or spend time with her friends. Okay, and that's four. So, I feel like I'll definitely be playing this game more in the future. Right now, I'm going to end it here. Um, if y'all like this game and you want to play it for yourself, of course, everything will be in the description below. If you want me to do a part two sooner rather than later, comment that below or hit that donation link in the channel description if you want, you know, me to play it or you just want to, you know, donate. But, um, yeah, also, you know, don't hesitate to share this video, anything to support the channel. It's all appreciated very much so. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I'm going to end it here. So hopefully y'all had a good day. A good yesterday and better tomorrow. And I will catch y'all in the next video.